Reporting live from the Skydome no Hotel. It's live from last week. I can't do this. It's live from last week, episode 47. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Let me tell you, the past 24 hours have been a little bit busy, to say the least. After about a one and a half hour nap, I picked up the fiance at work around midnight after her overtime day shift. Traveled back to Scarborough to sleep about four hours or so. Woke up hella early to work on some Jaywalker POV videos all day. Drive all the way to Whitby to go to this local place called Pita Deli, which, by the way, has great customer service and humongous portions for their delicious pitas, and brought home some dinner for my parents to enjoy with me. And while at home, I spent a couple of hours of quality time with Tito Eddie while eating our pitas. And afterwards, in the evening, I drove an hour and a half back to downtown to drop off the fiancé for her night shift tonight. But before that, in the rain, I filled up on a high score of gas for my Mini. Of which, as you can tell by the surprise on my face, I have never paid that much for a full tank for my Mini. And also, I have an interesting story to share with you guys while I was at that gas station. So I was trying to buy a lotto ticket for the 41 million Lotto Max jackpot tonight. I marked off my lucky numbers on the sheet and gave it to the cashier. Then she asked me, let me see your face. So I pulled down my mask a little, showed her my face. Then next she asked, can I see your ID? So I took my new driver's license out of my pocket. She looked at it and started laughing, saying, oh my gosh, you look so young. I thought you were 16. So yeah. There you have it guys, I guess I still have my youthful looks, although I just had my birthday not too long ago. And speaking of birthdays, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my traveling friends, Nori. Happy birthday Nori. It's been a while, but I remember first meeting you and traveling with you while we were at Palawan in the Philippines, where we went on those famous underground river tours. Anyways, Nori, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And for my next birthday greeting, I just want to do a birthday shout out to one of my co-workers, Joseph. Happy birthday, Joseph. I'm remembering times at work where you would always tell me stories about your kids. And I just want to let you know that I really admire about how you are such a great family man. And how you were open to me dressing you up for Halloween this year. Anyways, Joseph, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. And for my last birthday greeting of the day, I have a birthday shout out to one of my other coworkers, Tyler. Happy birthday, Ty. I'm forever cherishing and remembering all the deep talks that we would have in the mini carpool and all the great birthday celebrations that you would host, especially the time where I influenced you and made you open that bottle of sparkling wine and have you sprayed all over as if you were one of the Toronto Raptors celebrating their NBA championship that one year? Anyways, Ty, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there. Say happy birthday to Christine and Kiefer for me, and I hope that you have an amazing birthday this year. But anyways, guys, before I go to sleep tonight, do you remember this segment from last week? I was able to enjoy this beautiful 17 degree weather here in November and take the fiance sister Jersey out to the Humber River for a nice autumn kayak. But unfortunately, you guys will have to wait until next week's episode to check out the music video for that segment. Well, as promised, here's a quick music video from the kayaking session on the Humber.
I hope you guys enjoyed that video, with it probably being the last kayaking adventure of the year. Now, on to today, where I realized that there's going to be a water shutoff in our condo, which was definitely disappointing to hear, to say the least. But, what I did manage to do last night, was secure ourselves some extra water, by filling a bucket full, right before I went to bed last night. In what Filipinos call, a tabo. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, it's the practice where you use a cup or a little bowl to scoop up some water in a pail and use that to wash up whenever you go to the bathroom or whenever you want to take a bath. But anyways, that was just a plan B because I woke up earlier this morning to drive the fiance back home from her night shift last night and we finally made use of my Planet Fitness membership where my fiance went to the locker room to use the showers and while she was there, I waited for her on those famous Planet Fitness Hydro Massage beds. So afterwards, we went back home, took a nap, and when I woke up this afternoon from that nap, I realized I have a countdown of T minus three days. And what is that countdown, you ask? It is three days until this guy's bachelor party. So all afternoon, I worked on making some party favors for that party later on this weekend, and actually did a quick how-to video on how to take those stubborn price tag stickers off the glasses. Moving on, before I go in for my first of my three night shifts tonight, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with Mia! Happy birthday Mia! I'm remembering a couple of years ago playing pickup indoor volleyball with you and randomly seeing you on the beach playing twos every so often. Anyways Mia, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and I hope you had a great birthday celebration this year. My next birthday greeting is for one of our family friends, Ronalyn. Happy birthday Ronalyn! I'm remembering the times partying with you back in Jamaica for Faye and Justin's wedding. As well as hearing the great news that you landed a job at the same place that I work at. Anyways, Rondalyn, hope to see you at a family reunion sometime soon. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And last but not least, I have a happy birthday greeting to my nephew, Gabby. Happy birthday, Gabby. I'm remembering all the times that we went camping this past year. Sharing food and helping you learn how to make s'mores. How is it? Good. Anyways, Gabby, from your Tito J, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So today, in Canada, we celebrate Remembrance Day. A day where we recognize those who served and fought in wars for us, so that we can live with the liberties and freedoms that we have today. But yeah, I just want to thank those who've served for their country, and even have given their lives up for this country, so that in the present time, we can live in peace. All right, so moving on to my commute that I had last night, when it was the first time I drove through Young Dundas Square in a long time. And to be honest, I felt like a tourist in my own city. And after my night shift, I realized that today is T minus two days until this guy's bachelor party. So after washing and preparing the glasses for my bachelor people last night, today, after about this much sleep post night shift, I got to work and I started customizing some glasses for my buddies. And yeah, after just over two hours of working on these things, individually customizing these glasses with crazy glue and my bare hands, I was able to fold some shirts for the bachelor party and make this nice, beautiful display as gifts for my bachelor people. We have a couple of birthday shoutouts for you guys today. The first birthday greeting I have is for Natalie. Happy birthday, Natalie. I'm remembering first meeting you and playing with you at a beach volleyball tournament last month and how you introduced me to that sick Jazzy Jeff playlist. So thanks again for that. Anyways, hope you're doing well, stay safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday in Europe this year. Now for my second birthday greeting of the day, I have a birthday shout out to Dwayne. Happy birthday, Dwayne. I'm remembering when this guy drove us over a decade ago to a TFC game, all the way in Chicago, on my first road trip to see my favorite soccer team. Anyways, Dwayne, I'm forever grateful for that moment that you brought to me in my life. And yeah, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday, Dwayne. And my last birthday greeting of the day goes out to my cousin, Ray. Happy birthday, Ray. I'm remembering all the times I used to hang out with you when I was younger, over at 52. As well as traveling with you and the family to California on that road trip all along the West Coast. And having amazing times in Jamaica for your wedding. Anyways, Ray, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to Vida and Mech for me, and I hope that you had a great birthday this year. But yeah, anyways, I'm off to my second of my three night shifts tonight, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Woo! 
So after feeling really good after coming off a really chill and nice decent night shift last night, I got home, took a nap for about two hours. I drove the fiance to Midtown Toronto to get her hair did at a hair appointment at about 1 p.m. in Midtown Toronto. And while I was driving around, I was able to check out the communities and the surrounding areas which look beautiful in the autumn season. And another thing that's beautiful is that it's T minus one day until this guy's bachelor party. So before coming back home, I made a quick LCBO run looking for the finest drinks to celebrate this special occasion. And now I'm back home to hopefully take a pre-night shift nap before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight. So in honor of that, I'm wearing one of my favorite shirts. And tonight we're gonna get shift done. So yeah guys, if I can't sleep, it's pretty much because I'm very excited for tomorrow's events. So yeah, once again, wish me luck. Hopefully I can get some sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So after a pretty decent night shift last night, I just couldn't sleep after my shift. I was just too excited for my bachelor party today. So I decided to pick up the best woman. Good morning. <laughs> and make our way here to downtown Toronto. Cause it's now T minus zero days to this guy's bachelor party. Let's get it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that quick PG version of the events that happened from last night. And I just want to take this time to say thank you to all my close friends and family who enjoyed that experience with me. But yeah, this morning, after I woke up a little bit hungover, I decided to do a quick Ric Flair goodbye to the hotel room. Woo! <laughs> Afterwards, I took the sister and the fiance to this local Chinese restaurant called Asian Legend. But unfortunately, there was a private event going on there. So we decided to cross the street and go to our reliable 24-hour hotspot for Chinese food. And you guessed it, it was the perfect restaurant. The sister also treated us to some bubble tea while I enjoyed another episode of Squid Game. And afterwards, we heard that one of our favorite singers, Adele, was holding a one-night-only concert on TV. So I also enjoyed my bubble tea to that performance. But yeah, before I wrap up the night and drive the sister home back to the parents' place, I just have a quick happy belated birthday greeting. And this one goes out to Stormy. Happy belated birthday, Stormy. I'm remembering the times that we used to hang out when we had high school drama class with Miss Cooper back at HT. Anyway, Stormy, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So last night, after dropping off my sister at my parents' place around midnight, we noticed that there is something on the hood of their cars that I haven't seen in a long time. And yeah, you guessed it, it was snow from the first snowfall of the season. And yeah, while I was at my parents' place, we were able to visit Tita Mone and Tito Eddie. And the cool thing is, my dad looks so much better than he did a couple weeks ago. All energized and looking just like Captain Morgan. So I'm very happy to see my dad improving on his health and I know that he's doing a little bit better, so keep it up, Tito Eddie. 
Anyways, it was nice to see my family as a whole again, being happy together and being as healthy as we can be. But for today, it has been pretty much a rest day, working on the Jay Walker POV videos all day, before going in for a single night shift tonight. But before I do that, I just have a birthday greeting for you guys. And this one goes out to my buddy, Cam Sue. Happy birthday, Cammy. I'm remembering when we first started school at Ryerson together. In our random hangouts, either going to the climbing walls or roaming around Toronto. And even that time that we went to a free drive-in movie at that mall parking lot earlier this year. Anyways, Cammy, it was great to hang out with you at that time. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that we'll get together so we can celebrate your birthday well sometime soon. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's jam-packed episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.